श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वेन वी हियर अबाउट द एब्सल्यूट रियालिटी द ट्रूथ इट इज सो एंटिंग आश्चर्यवत पश्यति कष्ट देनम आश्चर्यवत शृणोति तथा अन्य हाउ एवर वेन इट कम्स टू अवर ओन लाइफ वी आर अगेन लॉस्ट इन रिलेटिव एक्सिस्टेंस दैट इज द रीजन वाई पीपल गो फॉर सत्संग इट इज ओनली सत्संग अलोन दे आर टोल्ड यू आर सच्चिदानंद यू आर इमोर्टल यू आर द ग्रेटेस्ट in the relative world nobody is held in this thing they everybody condemns them so they thaw, they think it's better to go to satsang at least for some time we suspect that we are divine so after having told from this absolute standpoint bhagwan sri krishna saw that arjuna was listening in a wrong manner how he was listening in a wrong manner like you know we hear about meditation and we hear that so and so did tapasya meditation standing on one leg for 36000 years and then we feel let me start if not 36000 years at least 36 seconds and we start not knowing that before going on the seat of meditation that person has done a lot of homework that we don't accept so <coughs> when this knowledge about the self was given to arjun he started becoming contemplative and that contemplativeness with seriousness is a cartoon of spirituality please understand in real contemplation there is no struggle in real firm abidance in the absolute it is effortless so when bhagwan saw that this fellow is mistaking the whole thing what was the mistaking if nobody is going to be killed everything is an illusion only truth is the reality then why fight the war see it is something like this one boy i told you this example one boy came with his mother <coughs> drop his mother in the place where my satsang was going on and after a satsang when we came from the temple out he asked me this question swami ji you people tell god is everywhere mummy goes and attends every satsang why don't you tell her that god is everywhere what is the need to come to the temple i said yes you are perfectly right but i said you are intelligent is your mother intelligent I don't think she is intelligent. Then how will she know? So can you change your mother? No. Then what can be done? Adopt, accept her. That is, you know, you are unfortunate to have a dumb mother like yours. What can you do? But you are intelligent. Thank God. Now let us think: if God is everywhere, is He not present in the temple? so you being intelligent you refuse to recognize the presence of the divinity in the temple and your mother being ignorant she refuses to recognize the presence of the divine lord anywhere else except in the temple both of you are attached to the same temple isn't it so although this knowledge was given to arjun 
he probably was understanding like this yeah that is what i am telling you are supporting my view because atma is immortal and there is nothing to do shoka moha nothing was ours nothing will be ours all the things were there before we came then we are just you know the travelers and we are going to go so why struggle why uh, get involved in this world why fight the war instead of let us go to rishikesh see so to prevent arjuna from drawing wrong conclusions bhagwan brought him again to the level of relative and this is where he was all the time deciding why he was miserable because he was really living at a relative level and therefore what is the most important thing for a very successful man in his life he is his name and fame see those people who happen to appear on the screen or in the newspaper they get so addicted to that that is how you know the one of the political strategy is not to allow the person whom you want to destroy to come in the newspaper that is enough now take for example our erstwhile prime minister narsimha rao now he that poor fellow has served the country for so many years but no where any because he has to be politically removed this is the simplest method so all of us particularly those who are very successful and very top position holders for them this is a threat there will be blemish on my name what people will say about me after i die people have got better things to do do you think people talk good about you now also ha ha and therefore bhagwan took this thread and he says in the 36th verse avacha vadanscha bahun avacha vadanscha bahun vadishanti tavahitaha vadishanti tavahitaha nindantastava samarthyam तो दुखतर इन द अर्लियर वर्स दिस थॉट वॉज बींग डेवलप अर्जुन वेन यू विल गिव अप एट दिस जंक्शन ऑन द बैटल फील्ड युअर नेम एंड फेम विल बी डिस्ट्रॉइड एंड फॉर ए कल्चर्ड पर्सन नेम एंड फेम इज द हाइएस्ट अचीवमेंट एंड they will start talking very low about you they will start telling that this fellow only was a lion because he was a member of the lions club otherwise he was only a sheep he was never a lion in this manner they will uh, speak ill about you and also those who are considering you to be a great warrior will correct their mistake that he was the coward of the first order now the question comes to what they will talk avachya vadanscha bahun avachya vadan avyakta avyaktavya vadan avaktavya vadan means what that which cannot be spoken of in public avaktavya vaktavya means that which can be spoken of a vaktavya me that which cannot be spoken of so they will be talking so ill and low about you vadishanti tava ahitaha chatravaha so all your um enemies those who are all the time seeking that something bad should happen to you they are just waiting and in this manner everywhere your name and fame will be ridiculed so avacha vadanscha bahun vadishanti tavahitaha you know 
One person has asked me after the lecture was over, Swamiji, what exactly he meant by avacya vadan? I said it is already said a vaktavya. It is better not we speak about it. It is very dirty thing this book. But what this thing they can talk about dirty thing about Arjun? I said at least they should know, or you should study uh, Mahabharat. Then you will know. So. Arjuna had all the time success in life, but he was having one problem, and that was he was a eunuch for one year in the kingdom of Virat. So people will take up one thread, and they will start building up stories about him. So, Bahun anek prakara madishandi tava ahitaha shatravaha nindantaha kutsayantaha. They will censure you. They will speak extremely ill about you. Tavat vadiyam samarthyam. Your prowess, your ability, your valor, your courage, which you have demonstrated, nivata kavachadi yuddhan mittam, which you have demonstrated in place in the various battles such as nivata kavat. And therefore, tasmat. Tataha ninda prapte he dukhat. The misery gained because of listening very bad things about oneself. Dukhataram nukim. Can there be more misery than this? See, the misery of the body is easier to endure. The misery of the mind can be taken up to some extent. But a misery created at the level of the intellect is extremely painful. And what is a misery? Dukkha at the level of the intellect is all the image we have about ourselves and we have developed that image for years together, suffer sincere and good lifestyle. If that image is tarnished, then it is the most painful affair. So, but this is for whom? Sambhavitasya. Don't forget that. This doesn't bother our politicians. They will prepare their effect and put, you know, black face, uh, tar on their face and in public they will burn. And this fellow will also go and watch. They will not, they have no shame of any kind. So, tasmat tato ninda prapti he dukkha dukkataram nukim. What is more miserable than this? Tataha kashtataram dukkam nasti ityaha ityartaha. So, there is no more misery than this when people will start talking ill about you. That <coughs> Arjun has been a dropout, a coward, ran away under the disguise of being good. Now, see how this is. Many a times, the philosophy that is spoken of in the world is nothing but the dignified expression of the inner frustration. That is called as philosophy. So, unless we are putting right efforts, there is nothing that is achieved in this world. And simply say it was God's will. If it was God's will, why did you come on the battlefield? Having come, now there is no God's will. Now there is no God, no you, now you fight the war. That is the only way. Therefore, tataha kashtadaram dukkham nasti tyartaha. And <coughs> if <coughs> you fight this war, yuddehe punaha kriyamane karnadivihi. Karnadivihi yuddham uh, kriyamane, yudhe kriyamane, sati saptami, when you will fight the war with karna, etc., then what will happen? Hato va prapsyasi svargam. Jitva va bhokshase mahim. Tasma tuttishta kaunteya. Tasma tuttishta kaunteya. Juddhaya kruta nishchaya. Juddhaya kruta nishchaya. 
when I was small, this was my most favorite verse in the whole Bhagavad Gita. I used to feel, Tato Yudhaya Krita Nishchaya Uttishta You know, that boiling blood of the childhood foolishness. Hatova, because this verse you can understand without knowledge of Sanskrit. This is another beauty. Isn't it? Suppose if you have to understand this verse, Bhayad Rana Dubaradam Mansente Tva Maharadha Yeshan Chattvam Bahumato Bhutva Yasasi Lagavam. But this verse is very simple. Hatova Prapsasi Sargam. If you are killed, you will attain heaven. Jitvava Bhukshase Mahim. And if you win the war, you will get the kingdom of this world. That means, whichever way you think, you are not at a loss. Tasma, therefore, Uttishta Kaunteya. Therefore, hey Kunti Putra Arjun, arise. And don't run away. <laughs> because after standing up on the video, he may run away. Therefore, Yudhaya Krutha Nishtaya. With determination to fight. So, Bhagavan Shankara says, Hatova prapsasi svargam, Hatahasan svargam prapsasi. If you are killed, you will attain the heavens. And all the people are struggling, those who are wanting something or the other, they will be again and again talking about heaven. So, if you happen to be killed in this war, you will attain heaven. Jitvava Karnadin San. And if you happen to win over the Karna, etc., Karnadin Churan, Bhokshase Mahim, then you will enjoy the kingdom of this earth. Ubhayatha Api Eva Labha Eva Iti Abhiprayaha. So, you will never, never be a loser. You know, it is like what? It is like the lawyers. It is the uh, clients who lose or win the case. Lawyers, they always get their fees. It doesn't matter who wins, who loses. It is this way. Therefore, Ubhayata api tavalabha evaiti abhiprayaha Yataha evam, this being so, tasmad uttishta kaunte yuddhaya kurte nishchayaha. Therefore, hey Kuntiputra Arjun, arise with a determination and resolve to fight the war. How it should be? Jeshyami shatrun marishyami va iti nishchayam krutva ityartaha. Like you know, in the life of Buddha Bhagavan, this comes. Shariram va patayami, karyam va sadhayami. That was his resolve. I will not get up from this seat below this tree unless I come to know the truth. And that picture of Buddha is shown. He is only in bones and the skin and nothing else. And then he gets his enlightenment. <coughs> so similarly, jishami satrun marishami va. Either I will win over then or I may die, it doesn't matter. But I am going to fight this war with full resolve. In this manner, Tatra Yuddham Swadharma Iti Evam Yuddham Anasya Upadesham Evam Shrunu. So, Yuddham Swadharmam Iti. Yuddha is your own dharma. Evam yudhyamanesya yudhyamanesya upadesham imam shruno. And therefore, uh, keeping this, suppose your duty is to fight the war. Suppose. Or suppose your duty is to complete your responsibility towards your wife, husband, children, society. Now complete that. So, Keeping this in view, now here the topic is that of the war, therefore Bhagavan says, I am referring to war. Sukha dukhe same krutva, labha labha jaya jayao, labha labha jaya jayao, 
तथो युद्धाय युजस्व पापमवाप्सी Now, from here onward, a uh, foundation of the thought of Bhagavad Gita is laid, and the edifice of this beautiful divine wisdom is built up. What is that which is the problem of life? The problem of life is. <coughs> Mamata and ahanta. These are the two problems. Therefore, this, whether it was Dhutrashtra, whether it was Duryodhana, or it was Arjun, all of them were suffering from the same disease called as the mamata. So, as long as mamata is operating in our mind. We are really uh, we are living on a relative standpoint because because belonging something or possessing something is possible of that which is other than you and that which is other than you that load when you carry it is bound to create problems in your life. Like you know, we carry the head on our shoulder. There is no problem. But in that head, when there is a headache, so to have the head on the shoulder is normal, no problem. To have the head without headache is no problem. The headache is an introduced load, and therefore it becomes a problem. So the real problem of our life is mamata. and there is only one solution to this disease of mamata for the whole humanity and the solution is that of samata so mamata has to be leveled ironed out by the iron box of samata this is the only way the whole bhagavad gita all the scriptures speak of so bhagavad gita is a contest between um, mamata party versus samata party this is what it is so <coughs> sukha dukhe same krutva that is why this word sama has come for the first time and when we will go throughout bhagavad gita i'll indicate you whether it is karma yog whether it is gnan yog whether it is ashtanga yog or it is gnan yog or bhakti yog everywhere the same uh, station is arrived at samatvam yoga uchyate ultimately the teacher will say us so <coughs> sukha dukhe same tulle krutva Now what is the technique? This is the technique. Sukha dukhe same tulle krutva means what? Ragad dveshu akrutva iti etat. When we like something and we get it, we are happy. When we dislike something and we get it, we are miserable. or when we like something we don't get it we are miserable and when we don't like something and we get it we are miserable see so what is the root cause root cause is raga dvesh <coughs> therefore here bhagwan shankara says tulle krutva means what raga dveshau akrutva iti etat therefore when our mind does not carry the load of likes and dislikes on our mind then the mind is creased out and you know this raga dvesha likes and dislikes are like what <clears throat> the best example i can think of is 
लाइक द रिंकल्स ऑन द क्लॉथ the other day when that boy washed the clothes normally these kinds of clothes are never squeeze hard and then put for drying but he did like that and when they were dried up they were looking so horrible as i don't know whether they will be ironed or not and as i was ironing them every crease has disappeared now where it has gone was the crease other than the cloth no so it cannot go anywhere but the presence of the wrinkles makes the same cloth look dirty and ugly in the same manner this likes and dislikes are impressions on the mind which are like the wrinkles on the cloth now to remove the wrinkles on from the cloth what will we do will you take a you know Uh, light and uh, try to remove no there is only one way take the iron box and move it will be gone in the same manner with the fire of knowledge the likes and dislikes are to be removed therefore sarvam karma khilam partha jnane parisamapyate bhagwan will tell us subsequently सो सुख दुखे समय कृत्वा राग द्वेशो अकृत्वा सो वेन वी आर लिविंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड व्हाट वी हैव टू डू दिस इज द स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस नाउ दैट लेट एनी ऑफ अवर रिएक्शन इंटरैक्शन विद द वर्ल्ड बी नॉट द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ अवर पर्सनल लाइक एंड डिसलाइक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट when you talk to somebody because you like when you don't talk to somebody because you don't like what will happen this likes and dislikes will start becoming deeper and deeper see and on the contrary if you are equanimous with everybody everything means what there may be raga dvesha but they will not overpower you and when the raga dvesha likes and dislikes are not allowed to overpower you slowly they will die their own death they will no more become important this is the way there is no other way therefore <clears throat> for us the spiritual seekers what we have to do a simple technique as the things are accept them without any reaction this is one of the highest spiritual practice for a spiritual practice means what we should take a mala and tie our hand down and keep on moving and that is not the real spiritual practice is observing and correcting that is our expression is the expression of the inherent likes and dislikes or every expression is the expression of equanimity observe this this is what said raga dvesho akrutva iti etat then tatha similarly labha labho jaya jayochu samo krutva <coughs> so labha alabha <coughs> gain and loss jaya ajaya the victory and defeat samau krutva treating them equal tato yuddha ji yujjasva ghatasva thereafter you get into fighting the war now here what is the result of this न एवं युद्ध कुर्व पापम अवाप्सि एष उपदेश प्रासंगिक सो विद दिस एटीट्यूड वेन यू विल फाइट द वॉर द प्रॉब्लम दैट यू हैड इन युअर माइंड दैट बाय किलिंग द पीपल आई विल अटे आई विल इनकर टेरिबल सीन अहो बत महत पापम कर्त व्यवस्थिता वयम यदराज्य सुखलोभेन हंत स्वजमुद्यता 
that is answered by bhagwan here so there will be no sin other than precipitation of the likes and dislikes there is no sin other than promotion of the likes and dislikes there is no sin other than not removing the likes and dislikes from our mind because this raga dvesha these two things really destroy the equanimity and thereafter everything is perceived differently interacted wrongly experienced incorrectly and suffered sincerely now here naivam papam avapsas you know what is the pap this is that pap you will not gather the deposits of likes and dislikes in your mind now <clears throat> this verse can be looked upon from different angle verse remains the same angle is different what is said in this verse this is called as karya karan bhav sukha dukhe samay krutva labha labho samo krutva jaya jayo samo krutva now here go the other way from jaya jayo labha labho sukha dukhe see what happens you are here on the battlefield <clears throat> what are the possibilities either you will win or you will lose suppose you win you gain suppose you don't win you are at a loss so jaya ajaya labh alabh in the same so the effect of victory is gain and the effect of defeat is loss very good third labha labhau and sukha dukhe if you gain you are happy if you lose you are miserable so this is called as karya karan parampara so where from it started it started from when you are fighting the war hey arjun if you are all the time worried about this whether we will be winning the war or defeating the war or whether we should win the war or allow them to win over when this load is on your mind and therefore you are miserable so what is to be done you do your job don't worry whether you will win or not like yesterday's match isn't it when the crackers and everything started then uh, somebody phoned me swami ji i said congratulations all your efforts are successful you are so sincerely looking at every ball that is delivered and because of your all efforts we could win the match thank you so much the whole nation owes you this victory so before starting the match you cannot keep the load on your mind you start sincerely this is what is meant here jaya ajaya labha alabha sukha dukha now once you take this stand whether victory or defeat come on fight then you will be fully available because what will happens jaya ajaya whether i will win the war or get defeated in the war will not allow us to be present during the war will be all the time in the future period of time and not fully available in the present therefore once you are fully available in the present availability in the present fully itself is the labha itself is the gain highest gain and when you are completely available in the present that is the state of highest bliss you have transcended the time this is one thing please recognize when we operate on the scale of time we have to struggle when we transcend the time scale there is no struggle in existence as in deep sleep tato yuddhaya yujjasva 
नईवम पापम अवाप्स सी यू शैल नॉट इनकर एनी सेन सो हियर इट इज सेट तथो युद्धा युजस्व बिकॉज दिस इज द प्लेस वेयर दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज गिवन दैट डजेंट मीन भगवान इज टेलिंग एवरीबडी देर फोर एवरीबडी शुड स्टार्ट फाइटिंग नो लाइक एवरीबडी शुड नॉट टेक ए माला इन द हैंड दिस इज वॉट दैट किंग अशोका डीड एवरीबडी मेड ए भिखू एंड एनी बडी टॉम डी कैन हेरी कैन कम एन अटैक एन अ कूप आय सी इन वॉट हेज हैपन इन डिबेट इज ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दिस you have big big monasteries all the children with a small mala in the hand and no protection no army because himsa 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 and now live like a refugee in the world and talking about that this is not the way that's why the creed of krishna is totally different himsa is not that so sukha dukhe same krutva labha labho deya jayo tato yuddha yajjaswa naivam papam avap fight out the things in rome you must behave like a roman on the relative plane you have to live with the relativity but at the same time do not compromise your absolute being this is so important it is something like you know who is the successful actor who is able to act he is particular part so beautifully that as if that actor is living that character but at the same time the actor never forgets that he is a miserable husband of a miserable wife he never forgets that in the same manner tato yuddha yujjaswa now shoka moha apanayanaya laukiko nyayaha स्वधर्म चावेक्ष इत्याद श्लोक उक्त न तो तात्पर्य भगवान स्टार्टेड दिस टॉपिक फ्रॉम थर्टी फर्स्ट वर्स स्वधर्म चावेक्ष न विकंपित मसी फ्रॉम हियर अप टू थर्टी एट्थ वर्स दिस इज फ्रॉम द रिलेटिव स्टैंड पॉइंट दिस इज फ्रॉम द एंगल ऑफ व्यवहार this is how the world is and in this world you must follow the rules and regulations of the world so what is that we talk in the relative world the same thing shok moh apanayanaya we suppose you know somebody dies we go there so after going what is expected out of us to make that man more miserable no we go and talk to him in such a manner that his miseries are reduced and what he has taken as if this is the end of the life we tell him philosophy remember this asura vedanta which was told by hiranyakashyapu to hiranyaksha hiranyaksha's wife not hiranyaksha because after hiranyaksha was killed by varaha bhagwan she was crying and then as the elder brother hiranyakashyapu goes and starts consoling his uh, uh, sister in law and he gives some stories this that and all that a beautiful pravachan he gives as a result that lady comes out of the grief and the uh, delusion shoka moha she becomes all right but hiranyakashyapu gets caught up and then he wants to know are i told everybody that is born is going to die that means i am also going to die then he does tapasya for what to continue to be alive as a body see how beautiful it is this is called as asura vedanta that vedanta which is meant for others we call it as a lipstick vedanta lipstick vedanta means the vedanta which is sticking to the lips is called a lipstick vedanta it is no where inside deeply affecting so shok moh apane naya laukiko nyaya swadharma api chaveksha ityadehi shlokai ukta na tu tatparjena see important thing 
This is not the purpose of Bhagwan Krishna's talking. Then what was the tatparya? Paramartha darshanam tu iha prakrutam tatcha uktam upasam harati eshate bihita iti shastra vishay vibhaga pradarshanaya. So this in between this topic that is brought out in the second chapter is only just to give a little light uh, coating so that this Arjuna is able to somehow or the other get out of it. You know, it is something like, you know, uh, sometime they used to give me this Ayurvedic kadhas for my stomach. I used to have very bad stomach. Now also it is worse. So everybody will come and give me some medicines. So one group came. I mean, you should take this, you know, uh, Kutajarist. And it will definitely take care of. And I was so disgusted with my stomach, I said, okay. And when I took it, afterward I said, I'll, I will never take it in my life. So terrible it is, so terrible it is. Then, Swami, we know what you like. I will get you that. But you have to take it. So every day that Kutajarista was given, after that, what I used to like, that was being given. Here also, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. First, absolute truth was told. And then what Arjuna likes is this. Relative world. See, in this world, people know you so much. What they will think if you do this thing. And your name and glory and fame will be destroyed. Then Arjun started feeling, now Krishna is talking something which is sense. Earlier, na jayate, mriyate, vahavi who knows? Is it not? And therefore Bhagavan Shankara has to comment. So, paramartha darshanam tu iha prakrutam. Bhagavad Gita is not meant for uh, these things. But to make us realize our essential self. Paramartha darshanam to yaha prakrutam tachya uktam. That was already said in the earlier pages. So upasam harati. Now this topic is being concluded. Eshate vitaiti shastra vishaya vibhaga pradarshanaya. To tell the classification of these two approaches in life. One is the approach of understanding and knowledge and second is the approach of how do we live in this world so that we become qualified to understand. Very important. Unless we become qualified, we will not understand. This is what happens, you know, many times these uh, uh, Kota brand students, Kota stones, they get admission in different colleges, medical college, engineering college, on the basis of Kota. So, the competition student have to secure 98%, uh, then only they can get admission. And these Kota students can have 28% also you will get a physical admission in the college. What about admission of the knowledge in your head? Where from it will go? Is there a quota? No. Therefore, unless one is qualified, the truth will not be revealed. And what is the qualification? Qualification is your mind is totally equanimous. And for that, Bhagwan is telling that these are the two aspects. So, Ihahi Darshite Punaha Shastra Vishaye Vibhage Uparishtat Jnana Yogena Sankhyanam Karma Yogena Yoginam. So, what is said here up to the last verse, the same thing will be again told. Uh, in the third chapter, Jnana Yogena Sankhyanam, Karma Yogena Sankh, eh, Yoginam, Iti, 
निष्ठा द्वय विषय शास्त्र सुखम प्रवर्तिष्यते श्रोतार सो फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड एसिमुलेट द विजडम ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर्स इन इजियर मैनर दिस निष्ठा द्वय विषय शास्त्र दिस टू आस्पेक्ट रिगार्डिंग लाइफ आर बीइंग टोल्ड बिकॉज विषय विभागे न सुखम ग्रहिष्यती अतः आ वंस द थिंग्स आर प्रेजेंटेड विथ प्रॉपर क्लासिफाइड वे इट इज इजियर टू कॉम्प्रिहेंड सी यू विल सी सी दे अदर डे वेन दैट मैन केम ही वॉन्टेड टू राइट कॉमेंट्री ऑन ललिता सहसा सो ही हेज कलेक्टेड थ्री फोर कॉमेंट्रीज ये जो स्वामी जी आई वॉन्टेड टू राइट अ कॉमेंट्री एंड क्लासिफाई ऑल द नेम्स एंड एवरीथिंग सो आई हैव थॉट ऑफ ए स्कीम आई से डू देन वेरी गुड इ सेड कैन यू टेल मी समथिंग आई से नोट डाउन देन आई टोल्ड यू I said all the thousand names are classified in the following classes. First, nirgun nirakar. Second, saguna nirakar. Third, saguna sakar. Fourth, various avatar and leelas. And fifth, anugraha on the devotees. These are the five main topics under which all the names are classified. You find out which is for what. then it becomes easier for us how the whole names of 1000 names of the goddess are meant for in the same manner what is said in the scriptures so many things are said and we get so confused sometime they will say swadharme nidanam shreya par dharmo bhayavah sometime they will say सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य महामेक चरणम व्रज समटाइम भगवान विल से भक्तोस्ति मे प्रिय समटाइम ही विल से न मे द्वेषोसी न प्रिय वाई डोट यू टॉक वन थिंग सर नो आई लाइक दिस सो व्हाट इज दैट हाउ टू मेक इट अंडरस्टैंड एंड देयर फोर भगवान इज क्लासिफाइंग दिस थॉट फ्रॉम द थर्टी नाइन ऑनवर्ड ईशाते विहिता सांखे विहिता सांखे बुद्धिर्योगे मां शृणु बुद्ध्या युक्त यया पार्थ कर्म बंधम प्रहास्यसी एषा ते तुभ्यम अभिहिता उक्ता सांख्ये परमार्थ वस्तु विवेक विषये बुद्धि ज्ञानम साक्षात शोक मोहादि संसार हेतु दोष निवृत्ति कारणम सब टू दी थर्टी एट वर्स भगवान सेज आई हैव जस्ट नाउ टोल्ड यू द क्लियर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन विथ रेफरेंस टू द एब्सोल्यूट रियालिटी एंड द रिलेटिव एक्सिस्टेंस परमार्थ वस्तु वस्तु विवेक विषय आई हैव टोल्ड यू बुद्धि हियर मीन्स ज्ञानम एंड व्हाट इज दिस बुद्धि ज्ञानम अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी शुड टेक द वर्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग हियर एशा ते सांख्ये बुद्धि बुद्धि मीन्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो आई हैव गिवन यू अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑफ द सेल्फ फ्रॉम द नॉट सेल्फ एंड ऑल द आस्पेक्ट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग and what this understanding will lead to sakshat shokamohadi samsar hetu dosha nivritti karanam this understanding is directly sakshat responsible for the removal of the miseries and the delusion which are the reasons for the samsara the relative existence this i have already told you now फर्दर योगी तू नाउ आई शैल टेल यू ऑल्सो अबाउट योगा योगे तू तत्प्राप्ति उपाय फॉर गेटिंग दैट बुद्धि अंडरस्टैंडिंग विच इज द सांख्य बुद्धि 
विच इज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग विथ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन सो योगे तू तत् प्राप्ति उपाय वॉट इज द मीन्स फॉर अटेनमेंट ऑफ दैट काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग निसंगतया द्वंद्व प्रहाण पूर्वक ईश्वर आराधना कर्मयोगे कर्म अनुष्ठाने सामधि योगे च इमाम अनंतरम एव उच्चमानाम बुद्धि श्रृणु तो ईशाते विहिता सांख्य बुद्धि योगे तु इमाम श्रृणु योगे मीन्स वॉड योगे मीन्स तत्प्राप्ति उपाय एज बी से न बाय मीन्स ऑफ द कार आय रीच माय डेस्टिनेशन सो कार योगे न सो ही आर द योग मीन्स द मीन्स प्राप्ति उपाय सो तत्प्राप्ति उपाय निसंगतया द्वंद्व प्रहाण पूर्वकम वेन वी आर एंगेजिंग ऑल अवर लाइफ एक्टिविटीज फर्स्ट निसंगतया अन अटैच टू द फ्रूट्स ऑफ एक्शन एटसेट्रा एंड द्वंद्व प्रहाण पूर्वकम गोइंग बियॉन्ड ऑल द पेयर्स ऑफ अपोजिट विच आर द गोइंग बियॉन्ड द पेयर्स ऑफ अपोजिट विच वॉज सेड इन द लास्ट वर्स सुख दुखे समय कृत्वा लाभ लाभ हो जय आ जय हो सो द्वंद्व प्रहाण पूर्वकम देन फॉर होम द कर्म इज डन इफ वी डोंट बॉदर फॉर द लाभ हानि जय अजय एंड द सुख दुख देर वाय टू डू द कर्म ईश्वर आराधनार्थे एवरी एक्शन इज डन फॉर ऑफरिंग इट टू द लॉर्ड ईश्वर आराधनार्थे कर्मयोगे दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज द कर्मयोग वॉट इज द कर्मयोग देर फोर फर्स्ट निसंगतया द्वंद्व प्राण पूर्वकम वन एंड सेकंड ईश्वर आराधनार्थे नौ सी दिस टू वर्ड्स अवर भगवान रवण महर्षि एज जूस इफ यू रिमेम्बर ईश्वरार्पितम ने छया कृतम दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द कर्मयोग वेन द एक्टिविटीज आर नॉट द प्रॉम्प्टिंग ऑफ द इनर डिजायर प्रेशर निच्छया कृतम एंड ईश्वर अर्पितम देन वाई यू शुड डू इट बिकॉज दिस इज माय ड्यूटी नाउ सी दिस ऑल्सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड ईश्वर अर्पण मीन्स वॉट ऑफरिंग टू द लॉर्ड मीन्स वॉट यू आर अपॉइंटेड इन वन पर्टिक्युलर ऑर्गनाइजेशन एंड दैट इज ए पर्टिक्युलर पोज या पोस्ट इज गिवन टू यू ना दैट पोस्ट इज असोसिएटेड विथ सम ड्यूटीज ना इफ यू आर टोल्ड बी डेडिकेटेड टू युअर ऑर्गनाइजेशन वॉट इट मीन्स ओनली टेकिंग ए माला इन चैंटिंग I am dedicated. I am dedicated. I am dedicated. I C I C I. I C I C I. I C I C I. No. Then whatever is my duty assigned to me in that organization, that I must do perfectly well. That is called as Ishvara Arpana. So, Ishvara is totality. so we start from the immediate totality so if you are in the family then our individuality should not prevail the view and life of all the being should be taken into consideration therefore selfishness should start getting dissolved keeping in view all the members of the family when it comes to the institution there also that i must be dissolved in the, at the altar of the uh, total institution how it is dissolved we do our duty best we have no business to bother about others and when we thus go further in the scheme of creation wherever we are placed by the lord whatever is the duty assigned to us according to the varnashrama whatever we are supposed to do etc that we do sincerely that is called as ishvara arpana so dwandva prahana purvakam ishvara aradhanarthe karma yoge karma anushthane and samadhi yoge cha 
So both the places. So what is the prapti upaya? Prapti upaya is through karma yoga and samadhi yoga. Because in both the places, karma yoga also, sukadukke same krutva. And samadhi yoga also, you will come to know when we study the sixth chapter. There also the same point is brought out. Atma upammena sarvatra samam pashyati yorjuna. That is the ultimate of the uh, samadhi yoga as taught by Bhagavan Sri Krishna in the sixth chapter. So, before he takes up the Arjuna's questions to be answered, this uh, sama is uh, again and again emphasized by the Lord. See, sarva bhuta stamatmanam, sarva bhuta anichatmani, ikshate yoga yuktatma, sarvatra samadarshanaha. Whether it is the karma yoga or whether it is the samadhi yoga, ultimate that is attained is this samatva. And this is what is the upaya, the means. So that mind, that intellect which is established in equanimity alone is qualified for the study and understanding the import of the scriptures and recognition of the absolute reality. So, yoga tu tat prapti upaye nisangataya dvandva prahana purvakam ishvara aradhanarthe karma yoga karma anushthane samadhi yoga cha imam anantaram eva uchchamanam buddhim shrunu. So, this another buddhi, this another knowledge, this another understanding. How should we live our life and practice samadhi yoga? Uchchamanam, which will be said, shrunu. Now you listen. And further, buddhya yukto yaya partha karma bandham prahasasi. Bhagavan says, tam buddhim stauti praro chanartham. See, unless we are tempted, attracted, we will not accept anything. So here Bhagavan Krishna is giving the bait. Why you should have it? Why you should have equanimity? Why you should have samatva? Why you should attain this sankhya buddhi? What is the reason? Bhagavan says, buddhya yaya yoga vishayaya. So this buddhi which will be helping us to ultimately gain the sankhya buddhi. So this yoga vishayaya buddhi, karma yoga and samadhi yoga vishayaya buddhi, yuktaha, he who is uh, having this kind of understanding, he partha karma bandham, karma eva dharma dharma kyo bandha, karma bandha, tam prahasyasi. You will be liberated from the uh, repeated transmigration from one birth to another birth. Because one birth to another birth is possible only on the strength of the karma and the karma phala. So, Karma bandham eva dharma dharma kyo bandha karma bandha tam prahasasi. How Ishwara prasada nimitta jnana prapte he iti abhipraya ha. Because when you are doing every karma for the Ishwara, slowly, slowly your mind will rise above the cause and effect associated with the karma and you will be contemplating more about the Lord than more about the karma. Now see, we are reading our Ram Krishna's uh, gospel now and then. There are many times he has mentioned that when he is to be before the mother, he will offer the flowers on his head. Instead of giving the navidya to the mother, he himself will eat. You know, from the activity oriented, action oriented, he became bhavana oriented. And from the bhavana oriented, we become experience oriented. See, bhavana is only at the level of the mind. Experience is transcending the gross body, the senses, the mind, the intellect. That is why those who are established in this experience, they speak not. Because navagachati, and whatever you talk, it will be only rubbish. Therefore, 
दिस बुद्धि कर्मा योग बुद्धि वेन इट इज प्रैक्टिस फॉर ए लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एज अवर ऑफरिंग टू द लॉर्ड बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ द लॉर्ड देअर फॉर ईश्वर प्रसाद निमित्त ज्ञान प्राप्त है सो बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ द लॉर्ड यू विल बी रिवील्ड अबाउट द ट्रूथ कर्मबंधम प्रहासी सो वॉट इज द कर्मबंध इज दिस पुनरपी जननम पुनरपी मरणम दैट विल बी ए फ्रीड यू विल बी फ्रीड फ्रॉम दैट एंड देअर फोर वन शुड प्रैक्टिस दिस कर्म योग सो हियर योगे दिस वर्ड इन दिस थर्टी नाइन्थ वर्स इज इंडिकेटिंग दिस टू अप्रोचेस विच विल बी कमिंग अप टू द फिफ्थ एंड द सिक्स चैप्टर वन इज द कर्म योग सेकेंड इज दिस समाधि योग एंड प्लीज रिमेम्बर बोथ ऑफ देम आर ओनली वर्किंग ऑन द उपाधि एंड वेन द उपाधि इज टेकन केयर ऑफ द कॉन्शियसनेस कैन बी रीच नॉट अदरवाइज सो कंटिन्यूंग फर्दर किंचान्य नेहा भिक्रमनाशोस्ती प्रत्यवायो न विद्यते स्वल्पम्यस्य धर्मस्य त्रायते महतो भया इह मोक्ष मार्गे कर्मयोगे ऑन दिस पाथ ऑफ लिबरेशन एंड कर्मयोग यह अभिक्रमणाश नास्ती देर इज नो अभिक्रमण देर इज नो डिस्ट्रक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ अभिक्रम वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ अभिक्रम अभिक्रमण अभिक्रम प्रारंभ सो अभिक्रमणाश मीन्स डिस्ट्रक्शन राइट इन द बिगिनिंग न तस्य नाशा अस्ति यथा कृष्या देहे वॉट एपन्स मेनी टाइम्स यू मे put all your seeds and everything for cultivation so that you may get a very good crop but there is no guarantee some pest may come some rodents may take away all the seeds there may be famine there may be no rains or even if it has happened the rain uh, distribution is not proper proper or there may be fire so many possibilities are there but in this path when you follow this karma and the sanyas and the samadhi yoga as told here here avikrama nashah nasti there is what bhagwan says here yoga vishaye prarambhasya na anaikantika phalatvam anand anay aneka ekantikam aneka ekantikam means what doubtful there is no doubt about this path it is certain like you know when you do some business it is not necessary that you will win when you are working it doesn't mean you will be successful but here on this path there is no doubt whatsoever therefore take up to this path second kincha na api chikitsavat pratyaya vayo vidyate so pratyavaya means what pratyavaya means the sins of omission so there are two things told in this verse first when you follow the karma yoga and the samadhi yoga there is no risk of uh going the wrong way let us put it this way there is no risk of going the wrong way and second thing when you are following this there is no pratyavaya dosha pratyavaya dosha is the sin of omission what is the sin of omission you are supposed to get up early in the morning and do your nitya karma do your naimittika karma what will i get if i do nothing you will get then why should i do if you don't do then you will get there was a child i told you i think this thing in the class when the teacher was 
checking the class. He got up. Miss, I have got a question. Yes. Suppose somebody doesn't do anything, does he deserve punishment? No. When you have not done anything, why should you get punishment? Good. I have not done the homework. So that not doing is the pratyavaya dosh. Like chikitsavat. Chikitsavat means what? When you are uh, not taking the medicine as prescribed, you take your own way, then there will be a problem. Or you take the medicine and don't follow the diet control, then there will be a problem. Yesterday our cook was telling, he said, Swamini, how these people are educated? I said, why, what happened? From the hospital we are told, give him only khichadi. That is his diet. So we are prepared for him. Now they want, he wants khichadi and the fruits and uh, this watermelon and something more because he is still feeling hungry. Are you here to eat or to get the treatment? If you have to eat, go home and eat comfortably. Nobody will stop you. When you have come here for a treatment, that is called as pratyavaya dosh. Kintu bhavati, then what happens to him? Swalpam api asya yoga dharmasya anushtitam trayate rakshati mahataha samsara bhayad janma varana dilakshanat. But if you follow this path of karma yoga and the samadhi yoga, it will definitely protect you from this repeated transmigration means what? It will protect you from the pangs of relative existence. Swalpa mampesya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat. Therefore, this yoga buddhi with reference to the karma yoga and the samadhi yoga that we are going to uh, tell you is first it will liberate you from the clutches of the karma and second there is no risk of taking it as an experiment it is a guaranteed path and third there is no pratyavaya dosha there is no sin of omission and fourth even if you practice it a little in your life slowly slowly you will come to realize see and we all do that take for example when somebody, some child falls and you are going there, so what do we do? We simply go and help the child stand on the feet and then you go ahead. So when you do that, do you feel that, see, I have done a great social service? No. It is just an expression of natural goodness in us. And that gives us a tremendous satisfaction. We don't go and claim to the uh, Times of India. Please note it. No. Therefore, this joy of doing things without any expectation. One. And second, doing it as our offering to the Lord. These two things together gives us this highest attainment called as we become capable, qualified to discover the truth. And therefore, trajate mahataha samsara bhayat. One is protected from the fear of relativity. Ya yam sankhe buddhi ukta yoge cha vakshamana lakshana sa. Now, this sankhe buddhi which was said, and what will be told about this yoga buddhi, that buddhi. What is that buddhi? Vyavasayatmika buddhi. Vyavasayatmika buddhi. Ekeha kuru nandana. Ekeha kuru nandana. Bahu shakha yanantascha. Bahu shakha yanantascha. Buddha yo vyavasayinam. Now please understand here that Sankhya Buddhi what is produced as a result of Viveka understanding on the authority of the scriptures. 
उभौ तो उन विजानी ताना यम हंति न हन्य थे न जायते मृय थे वा विपश्चित तो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द अथॉरिटी ऑफ द स्क्रिप्चर व्हाट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज डेवलप दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हिच विल रिजल्ट एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ फॉलोइंग द कर्म योग एंड द समाधि योग एका दैट इज वन व्यवसायात्मिका बुद्धि एका इह कुरुनंदन हे कुरुनंदन हे अर्जुन व्यवसायात्मिका मीन्स व निश्चयात्मिका निश्चय स्वभावा एका एव बुद्धि दैट मीन्स वेन वॉट एवर पाथ यू आर फॉलोइंग यू विल अल्टीमेटली कम टू द सेम कंक्लूजन कंक्लूजन विल नॉट बी डिफरेंट सो व्यवसाय आदमिका निश्चय स्वभाव एका एव बुद्धि इतर व्हाट आर द अदर बुद्धि इतर विपरीत बुद्धि शाखा भेद से बाधिका एंड देयर आफ्टर देयर वोट बी एनी कन्फ्यूजन लेफ्ट इन युअर माइंड एंड विच आर द कन्फ्यूजन विपरीत बुद्धि द कॉन्ट्ररी अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड व्हाट इज द कॉन्ट्ररी अंडरस्टैंडिंग शाखा भेद देर विल बी मेनी मेनी ऑप्शन मेनी ऑप्शन बाधिका विल बी इन नो मोर क्रिएटिंग इन कन्फ्यूजन इन युअर माइंड व्हाट इज द रीजन बिकॉज सम्यक प्रमाण जनित श्रेय मार्गे हे कुरुनंदन बिकॉज दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज बॉर्न आउट ऑफ द राइट मीन्स ऑफ नॉलेज दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज बॉर्न आउट ऑफ द वैलिड मीन्स ऑफ नॉलेज हाउ इम्पॉर्टंट इट इज देर फोर द मीन्स ऑफ नॉलेज शास्त्र प्रमाण इज वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट सो या पुनः इतरा बुद्धय बहुशाखा हिनंताश्च बुद्धय अव्यवसाय नाम या पुनः इतरा बुद्धया यासा शाखा भेद प्रचार वशा अनंत अपार अनुपरत संसार नित्य प्रतो विस्तीर्णो भवती बट दि अदर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज द अदर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ही विल टेल इन द नेक्स्ट वर्स अदर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज सच वेर इन यू गो ऑन एक्सपांडिंग इन योर रिलेटिव एक्सिस्टेंस टू सच एन एक्सटेंड दैट देन इट बिकम्स इम्पॉसिबल फॉर यू टू विड्रॉ एंड एक्सेप्ट फ्रस्ट्रेट रिग्रेट वाई डिड आई स्टार्ट ऑल दिस देर इज नो एंड टू दैट देर फॉर इट इज सेयर अनंत अपार अनुपरत संसार नित्य प्रतो विस्तीर्णो भवती इन रिलेटिविटी यू गेट लॉस्ट इन एक्सपांडिंग युअर सेल्फ एंड सफर नथिंग एल्स द रिमेनिंग मीनिंग विल टेक इन नेक्स्ट क्लास ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम